Have you ever been in an awkward situation where you just didn't know what to say or didn't know how to help? Stay tuned as we talk about one of the best ways for you to be a benefit to a friend or family member. We're continuing this topic of mental health and and how we can help someone to build margin in their lives. And we've been talking about what it means to come alongside of someone when they're in the midst of despair. And many times we've said, you know, sometimes people just don't have the words. They don't know what to say. Well, the good news is you don't have to have words to say. I'm going to give you two different principles that you can take with you that can help you to be able to minister and help a family member or friend who is in the midst of a despair season. First thing I want to say is, is that there is an importance to connection. It's not just connection by words. It's not just connection by proximity. It is connection by touch. You know, I learned a long time ago, sometimes I don't have to say anything. Sometimes when someone's going through pain, just being there and putting your arm around them or putting a hand on a shoulder lets them know that you are there. But not only just their proximity, but that you are there in emotion. You know, sometimes people say, well, Terry, are there any words that I can say? And I would caution them. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. But if you feel the need to have to say something, I want to give you three different statements that can help you to be able to guide a family member or friend in a difficult season. And here they are. First, I would say mirror them. And what I mean by mirror them is is mirror what they're emoting. And here's how you do that. One phrase is, I can understand how you would feel that way. By telling them that you understand, you're letting them know that you are there and that you're willing to be able to walk with them. Second thing is, I can imagine you might feel this. And thirdly, I can't imagine how you feel, but I'd like to try and understand. Notice that we're not trying to fix an individual. We're just there trying to be with them to understand all that they're going through. Now, one of the dangers of opening our mouths and one of the dangers of saying things is typically we don't mirror them. Typically, we come up with a bunch of cliches, and these cliches are statements that we must avoid in these situations. So let me give them, give you a list of these cliches, and here they are. How are you? This is no big deal. You should see what I have to deal with. You'll be fine. Don't cry. Everything happens for a reason. God's got this. Why did this happen? When you enter into those type of cliches, you're really not helping in the moment because that's the last thing that they really want to hear. Instead, when we mirror them, when we come alongside of them, when we put a hand on the shoulder, we let them know that no matter how long it takes, we are going to be there to support them, encourage them, pray for them, but most importantly, that they are not alone. I hope this helps with regards to your family this week. May God bless you.